Hey guys, just a quick recap of day seven. Um, it went good as far as juicing and stuff went, but um, I went through some detox yesterday. Um, part of it was due to a tea that I drank um, because I've always been kind of constipated. Um, so Steve suggested the Smooth Move tea to kind of keep me more regular and to get things moving. Um, and I gotta say that worked within six hours of taking it. My stomach was rolling and emptying and yeah. Um, so I'm actually gonna take it again today. Uh, he, he said take it for like two or three days and then just as I need it. So I think now that it's running, it's not going to, I'm hoping that it won't go back to the way it was before, um, but we'll see. Um, so I had that was kind of a detox and then I had kind of an emotional detox later in the evening um, that I haven't even told determination about my husband Nate um, but I was just sitting down here um, watching some videos and stuff and I just had the thought of you know there's so much food in the house like food that I could be eating and it's not like um, bad for you food but it's like you know there's ground turkey that I could make into a burger there's you know, um, I have Ezekiel bread in the freezer, you know, that I could be eating. There's hummus, there's, you know, all kinds of stuff that I could, that's healthy that I could be eating. And it's like, well, why not just, you know, juice for most of the day and have one meal? And I thought, you know, that's kind of my, was my train of thought last night. And it's like, you know, I want to make it farther than day 10 on my juice fast, but yet those thoughts were in my head and it was just, it was a rough evening. But anyway, um, I kind of got a preview of what Steve Kreider's video is going to be today. Um, so it kind of re-motivated me as to sticking with the fast and to juicing as long as I can. I am taking it day by day. I'm not going to set a goal out and say I'm going to juice for 60 days or I'm going to juice for 30 days or whatever. I'm juicing on a day by day basis. If I make it through today and I go into tomorrow, that's awesome. You know, I'm not going to set myself up for a huge goal. And then if it doesn't happen, then I'll, you know, feel terrible and whatever. Us, us women tend to take things a little harder um, than, do, than men will. But so that's my goal is I'm just juicing day by day. Um, so that's, that's kind of my goal. Um, today was... Uh, or tomorrow, day, day 8 is weigh-in day, um, so have that video for you, and I'm also, I think, going to go on a run, probably just a short one, because I haven't ran um, since my race, so I need to get my legs back into it, and I have to get my butt in gear, because my next race is literally like, I think it's only like two weeks away, yeah, it'll be, actually not even, the less than two weeks. So two Saturdays from, or well, yeah, two Saturdays from to this, no, <clears throat> two Saturdays from today, anyway, June 2nd, whatever. It's still morning and I'm burning this. <clears throat> anyway, so this is going to be a really short one because I didn't get a whole lot of footage yesterday uh, as far as videoing. The two little ones are at Grandma's. Um, they were supposed to come back yesterday, but they must have been busy, so um, I'm assuming they'll come back tonight or tomorrow. So I didn't have any fun people to video yesterday. <laughs> It was kind of just a, a cleaning day. Yesterday is all we did. Um, got a lot of stuff done. I did, however, I have to figure out a better way to get my centrifuge basket out of my thing. Cause look, I got a poop on my thumb. Can you see that? Will it focus on that? Anyway, I cut my thumb on my juicer, so that didn't make me happy. So if you guys have uh, a better way to get the basket out of your juicer that doesn't cut your thumb, let me know. <laughs> Um, yeah, oh, and my pulse stopped working on my blender, so, yeah, there we go. Everything else seems to still work, but the pulse doesn't work. So that was the day I had yesterday, got a lot of cleaning, um, I'll post a video of that. Do you remember that baker's rack I cleaned off? That's just about done, so that'll be in my day eight video. But today, um, day seven went well. Um, it's obviously, it's the morning of day eight, so I'm doing a seven recap. So that's where we're at so far. This is probably my shortest video on record ever. 
I'm probably not even going to do a whole lot of editing just to get it up and going. So, um, yeah, that's my video for today. I will see you guys tomorrow with more footage to entertain you with than me talking at the camera. So, thanks for watching. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. Um, I have a whole bunch of videos that, um, you know, if you're a new subscriber, thank you. Oh, speaking of new subscribers, see, here's where my video goes long, you guys, seriously. So I wrote down the new people. I have um, PDX voice teacher, who's a, an opera singer. He has a wonderful voice. Thank you for subscribing. Um, Baha and Princess 86 is my friend Shari. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, Lambie Poo Vegan, thank you for subscribing. Uh, great chat time we had the other day. Uh, Rebooter381, thank you for subscribing. I Lone Toad, uh, thank you for subscribing the other day. Um, the Blessed Orchid, thank you. You're very beautiful, by the way. Um, Fun to Run 68, um, I haven't watched, I'm not sure if you have videos or not, but if your name is anything to do with running, that's cool. I'm trying to be a runner. And then I have California Pageable, um, just subscribed the other day. So thank you guys to all my new subscribers. Uh, if you like the videos, please thumbs up. Um, and for you people that are watching that aren't subscribers, please subscribe. I will see you guys tomorrow.